real quick disclaimer before we get into the video. I uh, figured I'd make this quick. Um, I'm editing while making a delivery right now. It's kind of ramble, jamble, spur of the moment. It was supposed to be a review video turned into the Jeep is kind of broken now. So just a quick disclaimer, if the video is kind of all over the place and I lose myself in my words, that's why I did not plan on this video happening the way it did. So enjoy. Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing my 1000 mile review. I've put about a little over a thousand miles on the Jeep. I've had it for a month and a half, two months now. So time for an official, unofficial review. Now there's a storm rolling in or some rain supposed to be rolling in. So I'm gonna do some driving cause we gotta go get gas. Jeep is super low. So we're gonna do some in vehicle driving and then I might have to park it in the garage to finish off this video, but we'll see. So before we do anything, it's 66 degrees outside. The sun just went away, so it's a little hot in here. We are going to try the AC. See the AC's on. And she blows cold. Ah, oh, yes, 181,000 miles, and we have ice cold AC. Okay, so we are not off to a great start with this video i pull out of my alleyway so i pull out of the alleyway give the jeep some gas and it's making some weird vibration sounds okay couldn't hear it there i'm gonna pull back into my house quick and check something out so i am going to pull my volkswagen out of the garage pull the jeep in and jack it up and check some things out quick. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take this around the block quick and see if we can pick up the audio on video. Am I crazy? Or is the diff supposed to be angled like that? I don't, um, I think we have a slight issue here. Well, I guess I am not doing a thousand mile review video today. And I guess I am also not driving this to work for a while <laughs> or doing anything for a while. So story time i came home from work friday night and my neighbors were all outside and i knew one of the neighbors was home from the military so i decided to do a burnout in the rain and i revved it and dumped the clutch and then i parked it and today was the first day i went to drive it and looks like i twisted the pumpkin through the axle oh, well, off the axle i don't know which means i also bent my skyjacker um the bracket there stability bracket whatever it's supposed to be so note to self don't try to do burnout um on 37 inch tires because i guess that will happen um yeah i've never ever seen something like this i didn't even know this was possible um, but as you can see there, there's shiny metal, which means something broke off or popped out and caused that. And my drive shaft is not supposed to do that either. So, I mean, there's no reason to jack it up. I see the issue. Um, it drives fine, feels fine besides the slight vibration sound can't even hear it um but yeah um i broke the wrangler so this just went from a thousand mile review video to i broke the wrangler already and i mean i don't think that's fixable and if it is i don't see it having um the strength that it did in the past so i guess maybe i 
look for Rubicon axles, possibly. Um, talk to my brother slash mechanic and <laughs> go from here. So, yeah. So if you guys want to roast me down in the comment section below, um, go for it. Um, I mean, I'm not upset. Like, I have the Cummins and the Volkswagen to drive. I think it's kind of funny. I'm a dumbass. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks, but I got it to kind of beat the piss out of it anyway, so it is what it is. Just on to better things, I guess. So I wanted to do a gear upgrade anyways, so I might as well just find some Dana 44s out of a Rubicon and wire up some electric lockers for it or wire up the electric lockers for it, but kind of sucks. So I'm just going to put that thing between there and let it sit till I figure out how to fix my issue here. Um, like I said, like it drove fine besides the front sounding like it had a vibration. Yeah, so if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below to see what the next step is with this thing. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know what the next video is going to be now since I no longer will be able to do Jeep content till this is fixed. So I'll keep you guys posted. Stay safe out there. Peace out.